You should see me out in France wearing my tin hat. Mid shot and shell, it's worse than, well, it's even worse than that. Now imagine me in the Maginot line, sitting on a mine in the Maginot line. Now it's turned out nice. Awfully glad that you can join us, old bean. This is Fujit's Blitz, and today we're going to be looking at the Churchill 7, the British Tier 6 heavy tank. Now enough of that pompous accent. Back to normal. So, this is a tank guy. Um, basically, one of my subscribers on my Discord asked if I could do a review of this little thing and show you about it. So, that's what the beastie looks like. It's a formidable looking tank. I mean, it just looks mean and juicy. And, you know, this was a fantastic tank during the war, oddly enough. And I absolutely love this tank. So let's have a look at some of its stats. AE, damage, HP, well, it's knocking out 160. Rate of fire, well, you're going to knock out about 12 rounds a minute. Penetration, wow, it's 155 pen. The armor on it is 102 millimeters thick. Speed, it's a Churchill, guys. It's pretty damn slow. Rotation, it's 23.69 degrees. HP. It's got 1,100 armor. I mean, look at the armor on this thing. It's pretty big. View range, 271. Concealment, it's got a crap camo value. Let's not kid ourselves. It's a big, monstrous, heavy. DPM, 1,928. Reload time, just shy of five seconds. Average pen, AP, is going to be churning out 155. APCR, 218. HE, 22. Damage, you're going to get 160 on your AP, 135 APCR, and about 200 on your HP. Aim time, 3 seconds. Dispersion, not too bad. Depression, well, you get 4 degrees. I mean, it's pretty pants. Speed, I'm not even going into it. It's slow, it's cumbersome. What makes this tank is its DPM and its armor. This is what it looks like an armor inspector. And that, you know, you can see that it's got a lot of armor on it. So what happens when I stick it against the Tiger P? Well, that happens. And it goes red all over the place. And if you turn it to about 25, 26, 27 degrees, it's almost impossible to penetrate. I mean, it is a fantastic little side scraper. You can see that the tracks are a bit vulnerable. I love this tank. I'll be honest with you, I absolutely love it. And to give you a bit of stats on this thing, in its tier, this is the second best heavy for HP. It's the first best heavy for its view range. It's the third for DPM. It's middle of the road, for penetration and it's almost the worst for damage but the penetration loss over distance only six percent i mean that is the second best rate of fire second best reload time second best aim time is the best dispersion is the best depression oh awful it's the worst aiming arc is the best and its speed going backwards is also the best concealment it's got pretty good it's the second best camo profile of all the heavies and the thing about this tank like most british tanks is this okay they're slow they're cumbersome they're heavily armored they've got fast reload and they don't dish out much damage but they generally pen everything and generally nothing can pen you if you angle correctly this is the glorious thing about driving a british heavy tank especially in these lower tiers and if you get used to angling this thing up, boy, can you have fun in it. Now, I know a lot of people struggle in the Churchills. I absolutely love all the Churchills. And before you ask, the Black Prince is not a Churchill. It's absolutely nothing like a Churchill. It looks like a Churchill. It's not made by the same people. It doesn't have the same engine, blah, blah, blah. It's not a Churchill. So don't think it is. The thing about Churchills is they're all pretty much the same. They're slow, they're heavily armoured, they're cumbersome, they've got a fast rate of fire, high DPM, great penetration, and pants damage. But when you've got DPM like this, you don't need the damage, guys. You need to understand why this tank is slow and why it's got a fast reload. And I keep saying this in all my videos. Get on to either armor inspector or blitz hanger 
and find out because there's a reason. The reason this tank is slow is because it's got a lot of armor. The reason it's got a fast reload, it doesn't dish out a lot of damage per shell, but it does pen and it does dish out a lot of damage per minute. That's the glorious thing about them. And once you understand the armor profile of this thing, and once you understand what it's actually designed for, boy, you can have fantastic fun in it. I absolutely love rolling out in this tank because, okay, it's slow, but I do like heavies anyway, but okay, it's slow. But you can be an absolute menace on the battlefield. You really can. I mean, I'm giving this poor air out such a hard time. I've already set him on fire once. I'm going to smack him on the top of his uh, turret. And he's none the wiser. And I haven't even scratched or dented the paintwork yet. I've already bounced 225. I've dished out 889. Now I'm going to give him a hard time. Set him on fire as well. Hello. There we go. Get my first kill. 1,100. Well, sorry. Scrub that. 1,281 damage. Out TB too late you're gone back to the garage i still haven't scratched the paintwork <laughs> it's a beautiful tank and it always confuses me when people struggle in this tank because they struggle because they don't understand the armor profile simple as that don't think that because you've got armor you can stick this on the front line and get away with it you still need out you still need to know how to hand angle this thing up how to wiggle it and how to jiggle it and once you understand that, and like I showed you in the clip, it's about between 25 and 27 degrees is the optimal angles. Once you understand that, you will bounce almost anything that comes near you unless they load a PCR. And then, you know, you, you may struggle a bit. So we did 1,554 damage there. We only bounced 225. We got two kills. We're not setting the world on fire. We got a second class. Now, I played all these games yesterday evening. This is the last game. Now, I'd already told the team in chat to go to the right, but with the current state of affairs on the MM, they all decided to bugger off to the left. Cause for concern? Possibly. They clearly didn't look at um, the tanks that the other side had, and they just wanted and were definitely eager to get into a brawl. Not to worry, I'm sticking to my plan. I'm going right on this map. I know that they're all gonna go left, I want to get into a good position and put fire down. Like I said, the idea behind this tank is whilst it's got a lot of armor, you don't really want to be frontlining it too much because you can get hurt in it. It's not impenetrable. It's as simple as. It will get you to the battle, albeit slowly. But look at the gun on this thing. Okay, he hurt me. But, you know, shot for shot, that was a fair trade. I'm still smacking him. I've now done 300. I've faced two shots. And look at this. I mean, the reload is just fantastic. I mean, the M4 really is just hasn't got an open house chance. Bless him. Can I take him out? Yes, I can. There he goes. Boom. Shaga shaga. So 400 already. One tank down on their team. We're in a good position. Oh, so I thought. Maybe not. <laughs> We've now lost a tank. Not to worry, there's a Sherman Firefly with me. There's only two of us up here. All the rest went the other way. Alarming? Possibly. It happens in the game. And you know it happens. You've been there. I've been there. I'm, we're still going there. We've now lost two tanks. The T-25 who decided to tell everybody that I was a noob and they should go to the left is now crying out for help. And I can't help him. I'm in a Churchill. I'm, it's going to take me a while to get there. I'm going to stick with the Firefly. He was outful enough to stick with the plan. So I'm going to get around here. I'm going to sort of help him out. Try and see if I can get anything onto this VK-30. Um, I'm not going to even bother to get into a position. I'm just going to push round and see if I can get shots onto anything. Now we've lost four tanks. Oh, there's an ARL. That was a bad shot didn't pen him just bounced but he's fired maybe now I can pen him no you need to get around a bit further yeah we go boom so done 645 again not setting the world on fire <clears throat> but the game is still young it's in its infancy we're now two tanks left guess what it's myself and the firefly track the air out didn't really want to do that switch to APCR because his front plate is pretty tough 
The Firefly dispatches the VK. I've now bounced 320, dished out what? 800. I'm now going to push the ARL. It's four against two. Oh, they're capping the base. Not interested. I want the ARL out the game because he's a pain in the backside. There he is. He's flat on to me. He's taken out my uh, my Firefly. I set him on fire because you can in a Churchill. Hopefully I can get before he kills the Firefly. I'm going to leave him for the Firefly. I'm not going to bother with him. He's only a one shot anyway. And I've got three tanks here. The, uh, the Firefly is in trouble a little bit. Oh, there's an SU-100 come around. Smack him. Turn around. Try and angle to him. Oh, he takes out the Firefly. It's me against three. I'm going to try and angle up. Face hug him so he's only got my front. He can't hit my tracks with his depression. He's a one shot. He's gone. Now I can look at the VK. Come on, VK. I've only lost a few hit points. I've bounced 600, 860 now. I've done 1,937. Scrub that, 2,075. I've still bounced an 860. And now I've bounced over 1,000. I've done 2,197. He's gone. There goes his turret. Just got the T14 left. Again, bouncy bouncy because of my angles. He can't get down to pen me. He pens me there. He used. Um, he managed to. I got my angle wrong. He got it right. 2,500 now. Bounce 1,180 in a brawl. I'm just going to keep angling up, getting close to him, not showing him my side skirts or my tracks, keeping those angles. And by the way, this tank angles both. You can reverse side scrape and front side scrape. It's not a problem. Giving him such a hard time. 2,900 damage. Can I take him out? He should be able to now. There we go. 3,022 damage. Four kills. Kolobinov and blocked 1,500. And we get a mastery because that's what you need to do in a Churchill, guys. You need to understand this armor profile. Once you know the armor profile, once you know those optimal angles, it is a truly, truly fantastic tank. It's one of my favourites at tier 6 on the heavy line. I love it. And as I said, it always shocks me when people are surprised. So, that's been the Churchill 7. I've been Fujit. I hope that's been entertaining. I hope that's given you some pointers. I hope it's, you know... It, raised awareness where you were struggling or you may have been struggling with this particular tank because it's a beautiful tank anyway if you've got any decent replays by all means send them to me fujitsblitz at gmail.com or join my discord server um, you can upload them easier there you can now follow me on facebook and twitter if you haven't pressed subscribe yet please do so it's a nice thing to do and until the next time, I'll say my usual stuff. Stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking, guys. Because, you know, that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.